Okay, let's have a little walk around this uh, 1994 Land Rover Defender 200 TDI uh, 110 hardtop, um, genuine factory 200 TDI, um, fitted with power steering, also a matching set of five um, uh, desert, uh, desert Bridgestone Desert Jeweler uh, tyres on um, Weller 8 spoke rims in black. Uh, it's got uh, decals on the doors, but they will, with a bit of peeling, they will come off. Um, without too much of a problem. Let my phone ring. Um, it's got light guards on the front. Uh, da, 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 what else it got? It's roof rack. Uh, let's look around the back end. Also got uh, adjustable height tow pack with um, rear step mounted on it. Uh, roof rack. It's not a full length one. It's a three quarter length roof rack. Um, and spare wheel mounted on the tailgate. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, as I say, nice um, factory 110, shall we say. It looks fairly straight. It's, you know, it's one or two sort of minor blemishes on it here and there, as you expect with um, an ex-working Landy. But around the front end, it all looks uh, fairly straightforward. Somebody's keen to get hold of me, aren't they? Um, but around the front end, it all looks fairly, uh, fairly nice. Let's just stop that. Um, it's got checker plate on the wing tops and the bonnet top as well. Uh, but yeah, all looks all good around the front end there. Um, down the near side, usual landing where slightly sort of crinkles here and there. There's a very, very, very slight depression just in the bottom of the near side front wing just there. But no more than that. Um, another tiny sort of pinhole dent just there in the barrel side on the near side front wing, but otherwise very good. Um, near side, uh, um, oh god, scuttle corner, uh, very very good indeed, doesn't look as if it's ever been got at at all, uh, or ever been um, played with, all looks good down the A post as well, up on the roof, it's fine, difficult to see the roof rack on, on two minor dinks in the roof by the look of it in the top panel. Um, near side door has got some electrolytic reaction just up here around the, by the mirror, um, that's all, uh, all as, as you'd expect um, and obviously the black half it's got this stripe down the side of it and it's been um, done in matte black below that so a little bit of reaction th showing through on the bottom of the door um, and a little bit of paint loss on the um, the near side rear sort of quarter panel down there where it joins the um, modesty cover it's just recently had new rubbers on the doors so the doors are actually quite stiff to open um, inside here interior wise front seats are all really good actually no rips or tears in the front seats they're all nice um, dash is all fairly straightforward. It has got a radio CD in it, but I can't make it work. I um, don't think there's any power getting to it. In the back you've got twin bench seats and it's all been, the floor's all been lined properly inside there in the back there as well. Um, let's have a look at the door frame on the near side here. Actually very strong, yeah, no problems with that at all. Not sure why it's blue because I think it is the original door, but it's got a blue, uh, blue outer skin on it for some reason. Perhaps it isn't. Oh, it looks blue inside there. Don't know why. Perhaps it's another door put on it. Um, the uh, lock is scutch and thing is cover has come off it. Uh, look, looking down the near side of the van side, it's all very good there. A little bit of rust just coming through on the um, on the van top, um, on the top tub bit, and a little bit up there as well. It's obviously had a little bit of paint work up here as well, uh, but otherwise pretty good. Uh, it's all good there. Looking around the tail end here. Um, cross member has been plated uh, around the tow bar area obviously for uh, for extra towing strength I guess um, but the all around the tail end apart from that looks pretty good tailgate looks quite good actually no real delamination on the top of the tailgate um, and the frame actually feels reasonably good on it in the back here ignore my bag but in the back there so you've got twin benches with seat belts and it's all sort of nicely lined in the back there as well um, not around the roof or the sides but just the floor um, And then down the offside, it uh, all looks fairly straight once again. A uh, little bit of, looks like it's just um, paint's come off just there on the, on, the, on the little corner bit, but otherwise good. Uh, offside up here, 
again a little bit of paint uh, rust just bubbling through on the um, the top of the on the top top trim but otherwise it all looks good down the offside there um, offside door once again some electrolytic reaction up the top here uh, and on the offside corner here it looks like it's possibly had a um, uh, a replacement offside scuffle corner on it which is starting to uh, to bubble up and crack up a bit around here um, but it's still not too bad all feels fairly solid he says there's a bit of paint comes off when he prods it um, yeah a little bit of uh, um, cosmetic issues up there um, but the a-post is all good offside front wing is all good a little bit of paint loss and a couple of um, marks and stuff on the bonnet just up here that's about it inside here as I say, interior-wise, is all splendid. Um, driver's door's got a hole in the back of the frame here, but the rest of the frame actually feels pretty good. No problems there, just a little hole in the back of it. And it's all sort of, you know, standard Defender 110 inside there. As I say, the doors need a good slam because it's just had new rubbers on it. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk if you want any further info. We take part exchanges, we take debit cards and Visa and, uh, sorry, Visa and MasterCard debit cards and also Visa and MasterCard credit cards with a 2% surcharge. We can deliver it anywhere. Um, that's about it. End.